Hey friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we have a problem on finding eigenvalues of a matrix from June 2014 part B. It says there is a matrix M. As you can see, the eigenvalues of matrix M are A, B, C, D. Notice that each option is containing three eigenvalues. Why so? This is because of the reason that this is a square matrix of order 3 by 3. Square matrix means number of rows equal to the number of columns. So it is a square matrix because number of rows is 3 and number of columns is 3. So they are equal. So it is a square matrix of order 3 by 3. So it can have 3 eigenvalues and that's why each option is containing 3 eigenvalues. That means if, if this would have been a square matrix of order 2 by 2 then it would have had 2 eigenvalues possible. Well. What does a square matrix represent? Let me tell you that in quantum mechanics, a square matrix represents an operator. Why so? We know that quantum mechanics has two different representations. The same quantum mechanics can be, can be understood in two different ways. One is the wave mechanics and other is the matrix mechanics. Wave mechanics has been introduced by Schrodinger whereas the matrix mechanics has been introduced by Heisenberg. Wave mechanics is defined in infinite dimensional space. This is also called continuous basis vector space. Continuous means infinite. Wherever you see a word continuous, it means infinite. And basis vectors, those vectors, those independent vectors that are making the space. I should say linearly independent vectors. Whereas the matrix mechanics is defined for three dimensional space actually for finite space this is also called discrete basis vector space discrete means finite and finite is three here and basis vectors those vectors those independent vectors i should say linearly independent vectors that are making the space and those are i cap j cap k cap for matrix mechanics and now we uh, so that web mechanics is defined for infinite dimensional space and what should could be the infinite dimensional space this is the space of entire complex functions so i should say it is a complex space whereas matrix mechanics is defined for finite space or i said that three dimensional space then this is the real space so matrix mechanics is defined for real space whereas the web mechanics Schrodinger's web mechanics has been defined for complex space now one more thing that an operator in wave mechanics can be represented as a square matrix in matrix mechanics we also know that a ket we know about ket and braz so a ket in uh, wave mechanics can be represented as a column matrix in matrix mechanics Similarly, a bra which is uh, which is a uh, which is in wave mechanics can also be represented as a row matrix in matrix mechanics. So these are the representations that the same thing we can do also in matrix mechanics, and that is why it has importance. The square matrix has a importance. Well, we had a lot of digression, but let us come back to our problem. So when we have to find the eigenvalues of a matrix, then let me tell you that there are basically two methods. One is using characteristic equation, characteristic equation and characteristic equation is A minus lambda I, I is the identity matrix, lambda is the constant is equals to 0 sorry there is a determinant determinant of a minus lambda i equals to 0 and the second is using characteristic polynomial where it has the representation of lambda cube s1 minus 
I'm sorry lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus determinant of a a is the matrix here I should write M because it is convenient in our problem the matrix has been given as M so we will write M determinant of matrix is equals to 0 so either you could use this one and you can have you can find the eigenvalues and or you can use this characteristic polynomial and from this characteristic polynomial you can find the eigenvalues so any one you can use generally this is used by most of the people but what I think and what I have seen that this has a lot of flexibility this equation because using this equation is a little easier while you're doing it but when you have problems those are a little trickier one using this one is very hectic that's why I generally use this but first of all I will use this for this problem I will use this later in any other video when solving for eigenvalues we will be using this one and we will learn it so we will today use the characteristic equation so let's use it the characteristic equation we understood is uh, m minus lambda i determinant equals to 0 now m is what we know that this is the matrix we will write down the matrix matrix is 0 2i 3i minus 2i 0 6i minus 3i minus 6i 0 minus lambda identity matrix now since it has the order of 3 by 3 now with reference to this the identity matrix will be also 3 by 3 and you know what is identity matrix the diagonal elements are 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 determinant equals to 0 then we have we know this is going to be same 0 2i 3i minus 2i 0 6i minus 3i minus 6i and 0 minus this is lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda determinant equals to 0 and this is now subtracting these two matrices we have 0 minus lambda 2i 3i minus 2i minus lambda so 0 minus lambda is minus lambda here also 0 minus lambda so minus lambda and 6i minus 3i minus 6i 0 minus lambda minus lambda determinant equals to 0 now we will find the determinant minus lambda into lambda square minus of minus 36 i square then minus 2 i into this into this that is 2 lambda i minus this into this that is minus 18 i square then minus then plus sorry plus 3i this multiplied sorry this will be multiplied and this will be multiplied so 12 i square minus 3 lambda i now this is equal to 0 because determinant was equal to 0 then we have minus lambda and this is lambda square minus minus plus then i square is a minus so minus 36 minus 2i this is 
2 lambda i minus minus plus but i square is minus so minus 18 then plus 3 i 12 i square that is minus 12 minus 3 lambda i equals to 0 then we have minus lambda cube minus minus plus 36 lambda then it's minus 2 to 4 lambda i square then it's minus minus plus 36 i then 36 i then it's plus minus minus plus minus minus 12 uh, sorry 36 i let us write here minus 36 i and then minus plus minus 9 lambda and i into i i square so finally we have one thing is that here minus 36 i plus 36 i cancel each other so we have minus lambda cube plus 36 lambda now i square is minus 1 so plus 4 lambda and here i square is again minus 1 so plus 9 lambda is equal to 0 sorry here it was equal to 0 0 0 0 okay then we have minus lambda cube plus 36 4 40 49 49 lambda is equal to 0 minus 49 lambda equals to 0 if take the minus that side then that would vanish lambda cube minus 49 lambda is equal to 0 so from here so this is the character this is the polynomial equation uh, remember this is not the characteristic polynomial that I talked about this is just the polynomial I have got after uh, after going through the characteristic equation it started with the characteristic equation then we just came down and finally we reached here and from here we will have our eigenvalues and what can be those those are we will take lambda as common so it will be lambda square minus 49 is equals to 0 that means individually lambda is 0 and individually lambda square minus 49 is equals to 0 and that means that lambda square is equals to 49 and lambda is equals to plus minus root of 49 and this is equals to plus minus 7 so we have finally finally we have lambda is equals to 0 this is 1 and lambda is equals to plus 7 and lambda is equals to minus 7 so these are the two third three eigenvalues that we have and this matches with our option b well in the next video we will see both the ways of solving it today we just use the characteristic equation today we use the characteristic equation in the next class we will also use the characteristic polynomial we will solve the eigenvalues find the eigenvalues using the characteristic polynomial also where s1 is where s1 is the trace of the matrix trace of matrix s2 is the minors minus of diagonal elements and this is the determinant of the matrix and uh, we will use this also well so for today we have the answer b answer is b minus 707 thank you